<laughs> I'll be there for morning. you when the rain starts falling. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to season 4 of Mantalk.ke Thank you for being with us the last three seasons This is a good season I'm very excited about uh, And the, to kick it off we're going to start with a conversation about friendship But before we do that I want to just thank everyone that's been listening to on the podcast Listening to it on YouTube and watching it on YouTube And also on social media the messages that we've been getting Thank you guys, thank you for rocking with us And let's do another season, I hope you enjoy this one So, Oscar yeah. As usual, yeah. we're back again. Back again. Back again. Season like four. Back to back. Yeah, back to back. Like 90s, Jordan 96, 97. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, back yeah. to back. 96, yeah. 97 Jordan. That's what we're doing. I'm yeah. so excited for this season as well. Mm, mm, um, mm. And a lot of love has come in from you guys. Like, yeah. I feel the love. You mm, know? Like, mm. my DMs now. Guys, guys, the guys were in my DMs giving me pointers as to what you think I should do and what yeah. you think Eli and I should do. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and the sweet thing about this season is we were worked with the community to develop exactly it. Yeah. yeah yeah it was a conversation it back was, and forth yeah, it on, was a, a conversation. on a instagram yeah. live right on an instagram live instagram if you live. know you know yeah if you yeah. know you know so literally this whole season is going to be tailored to the topics that they suggested yeah and we're going to basically cover what you want to hear yeah which is the whole point of mantle there's a community that we're trying to build we're trying yeah. to build already have already have we already, we already have, have. We already yeah have. We, we've done it successfully <laughs> so yeah. i hope yeah. that it yeah. works out amazing speaking of community and speaking of uh, relationships this episode is all about friendships so I think we should tell them how we, that's a good starting point, no? Yeah. How we met, yeah. how we met. I'll tell my side of the story, then you tell yours, and then we meet at the point where we met, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, when we were starting Man Talk, uh, we started with our two other guys, our two other boys, uh, and the conversation we had was that we wanted to have, like, elevating and orange conversations, and then we were planning the season, and then we went to a restaurant called uh, Bow Box. Yeah. And then we were just about, we were just planning, like sat down, okay, what are we doing for the next season? And this big Mary man walks in with energy <laughs> and he's like, yo, Nick. And then we, we get introduced and yeah. then um, you're like, what are you guys doing? And then we said, we're filming this and this and this. And you said, if you ever need somebody, let me know. That's what I remember. Yeah. That's what I'm, so that was my day. That's the first time we met. And then within four days, four days, <laughs> we were filming the yeah. And I was like, oh, you, you doubt? Not me, it was Nick. Right? Yeah, it was Nick. He was like, are you down? You were like, yeah. And then you never left, and it became me and you. Yeah, it's just and been. Yeah, and I've been there for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been yeah. it's been a vibe. Like for me, that day I was actually taking a meet a meeting. Like I was meeting an old friend. Um, mm. We were discussing kind of how to structure his business. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a client I was seeing. So like yeah. when we were leaving, yeah. um, and then I saw you, Martin, and Nick. Like you know, sitting down. I was like, Hey, yeah, what's yeah, up? Because yeah, yeah. Nick had had mentioned I'd worked with Nick previously in. Yeah. Uh, in, in at work like yeah. I was working in cyber security yeah. so like when I saw him I was like hey man what's up um, yeah. and he kind of mentioned that mm. there was going to be a podcast yeah. because of Castro's Man Cave and I was like exactly. you should do a podcast like I told him yeah. you should do a podcast yeah. this would be such a nice space okay. so you had that conversation yeah yeah I before. already had no that conversation way. with him before yeah. I was like bro there's this, there's this thing I'm working on it's actually quite close to what you're doing mm. and I was like bruh like do it because yeah. for me it was just low hanging fruit mm, mm. and i think that's kind of how you yeah. know we met and hit it off yeah so yeah. like yeah so how's your experiences been like have, have mm. we, last season we talked about how you came to kenya yeah um, yeah you were a bit lonely yeah and like yeah. now you have a network of people who mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. and support you yeah. which i'm very privileged to be a part of yeah so like yeah. for you how has your life in, when in terms of my been? friendships yeah um so funnily enough i've moved around quite a bit so uh, when I first went there, we lived in London. I was a very young child, didn't really have many friendships because I was literally nursery. Then we moved to Oxfordshire, and that's where I think I had my core first experience of friendship. So now when you're at the age of maybe uh, nine to about when I was early teens, before I now moved to Kent, and I moved to Kent, and then I had to now start whole new friendships. So I've always been um, put in situations where it's like, you know, single swim. You know, you don't know anybody, new school, new, new area. You have to just Jeez. make friends. You have to just make friends. So I think that's sort of um, given me the tool. What I used to do straight away is in the last episode, uh, in one of the episodes in season three, I mentioned how I liked sports. So that used to be my avenue into friendships. And then because you know sport, it's a it's a it's a team thing. You know, you're winning, you're losing, you're going through emotions together. So my friendships normally stemmed from sports. Then as I got older, it turned into like social currency, determining where I fit in a social ladder within uh. school and then where I fit into a social ladder outside of school. So I've always, um, I've always had a big group of friends. 
Um, but so that's not always gregarious, you're like a gregarious Yeah, exactly, party. exactly, yeah, yeah. So, but I don't know, I think as I've got older, my circle has definitely shrunk and shrunk and shrunk because yeah. as you just evolve as a person and you evolve in life, you find that friendships drop along the way, not for any bad reason, people just evolve in different directions. It's not that you're getting better or they're getting worse, it's just different life paths. Um, so that's been my experience with friendships. One of my uh, Oxfordshire friends, my core friends, my very first friends, uh, we used to be neighbours, right? And what's really weird is I've always had triplets as my friends. So weird. So my first, first like house we had in Oxfordshire, I was neighbours with triplets. So I was really close with all three of them. They were three boys. Then when I moved to Kent, again, I was like best friends with triplets. Now these are two girls and one guy. So I don't. That's been a really weird thing. Um, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> no, that is that, um, is that is something we will discuss yeah, extensively. So, um, um, yeah, keep uh, moving. The keep moving. Uh, friendships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so uh, yeah, so that's always been really weird. I've always had triplets as best friends, which is bizarre. And yeah. um, sad story. My, one of the triplets in my for my first like my first best friend actually died. Like he passed. One of the triplets that um, it's called Matt, and I've got a tattoo on, on my side. Um, so that was my first experience of having like a friendship lost. Oh, not God. down to evolving, but down to like tragedy. Tragedy. Um, so I don't know. I, do you know what? It's one of those things. If I'm just being completely honest, I don't think I even dealt with and processed. Even to this day, it's not something I think I've like felt addressed that much. I've just yeah. sort of been like, that happened. That's facts. Like Jeez. I grieved a bit, but I don't know. I don't know, it's really weird. You, I'm, emotionally, I'm, you're not intelligent enough to process all of exactly. it. Exactly, that's exactly what it was. Okay. Exactly Jeez. what it was. Yeah. How old were you when it was I happening? Was, it were both, oh, I was 19 and he would have been 18. Jeez. Yeah, and I was 19, he was 18. That's a lot. Yeah, but what was weird is we just moved to a different county. So what was really ironic is that he oh. came to visit me. And it was like he was visiting me for the last time. So he came to visit me. We went around, went around London, stayed at my house chilled like it was in the old days like it was amazing and then he went back and then a few months later he passed yeah it's yeah so that's that, yeah so that was that's been my journey of friendships but what i'd say is like i was saying my if i was to conclude i've always had a big group because of school and stuff but as i've chosen my path i've got a really tight yeah. tighter circle now yeah how about you bro i most of my friendships are mm. over 10 year friendships mm. so for mm. me my experience with friendships has always been people come into my life and they tend to stay mm. you get what mm. i mean like yeah yeah my closest like the friendship that i've had that i've had that last the longest mm. is over 20 years i mean mm. i knew a shout out to alex drips i've mm. known alex since yeah. we were in nursery no way yeah wow. nursery i wow. remember the first day yeah like, i came to class needed a pencil he came such passed me the pencil said my name is alex yeah. and i was like Geez, hi, I'm yeah. Oscar. And ever since, like, yeah. we've been in separate. No way, two peas in the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, we grew up that way. I was, I was always like, to the tallest mm. guy in class, and he was always the shortest guy in class. Oh, uh, which is, yeah. which is kind of crazy because yeah, yeah. like our dynamic is also it's the same, same thing, same, same thing. thing, same thing. So yeah. like, yeah. So like here, so I grew up. So I've always had like tight knit friends. Mm. Um, when I moved to um, Meru for my boarding school, yeah. Uh, at that time, I was uh, class five, six, seven, eight. So I should have been around 11, 12, 13. Mm. Um, I met, those are the first batch of friends that I met that I had to leave behind because I, yeah. till today, I don't honestly, I'm not in touch with any yeah. at all, any of those mm. um, friends that I was with. Even in high school, mm. I have a number of friends who, who are still in my life right now. The mm. basketball core that I had. Mm. Um, mm. So like, and then when I finished high school, I met the boys who are my boys mm. from, mm. from mm. They Light. Know, they, from, know they, they know themselves. Yeah. Um, so from Light Academy. And now these, the Light Academy bunch of guys, mm. it's been over 10 years. Like, no way. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, some yeah. people's, some people in that in that place, I could honestly die for. Mm, so amazing. So I have friends like you. So for me, I think the negative aspect of that experience has been, um, the negative aspect has been when it's time for as you grow older, mm. relationships tend to become more short term. Yeah. How do you how do you maintain this? Because personally, for me, like yeah. I said, I've moved around a lot. Now I'm in Kenya. I've yeah. not seen my friends for yeah. over a year. How have you like maintained your friendships? Because one thing I find is that. You can have really close friends, but you don't see them often. Yeah. But when you do see them, it's, it's just fireworks. back to normal. We just yeah, you can not talk for like months, but it's just yeah. back again. So how do you maintain friendships? Well, to be honest, there's not much migration in Nairobi. Like mm. people don't necessarily, when you live, when you come from the city, people don't leave the city to go mm. anywhere else but abroad. Yeah. So there's a number of ways, a myriad of ways where you get in touch. And for me, like I've always emphasized on having a personal relationship with everyone in your mm. circle. It's not like 
you know we are all friends yeah. so like we all hang out together yeah. in fact the friendships that have suffered the most that i've had mm. are those ones where i did not have a personal relationship with the person within the circle that's so yeah. true i have a few of those yeah that's yeah. really true. you have to have a personal relationship yeah. with everyone within the circle yeah. and yeah. then like they will all have a value you give yeah. them and they give you yeah otherwise you'll just be moving around with that hard mentality yeah such that but when people's individual interests come into question mm. they won't have your best interest at heart that's a very yeah. hard lesson that i had to learn yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that's very key the thing you've mentioned about value yeah. is like i feel like sometimes friendships can be transactional if there's not much emotion attached to that they are transactional yeah i feel yeah, like even yeah. with emotion attached mm. they are because ultimately we're growing into human beings mm. and maturing into into independence yeah there's nothing more dangerous than being codependent even within a friendship yeah yeah, um, yeah. because like if someone you know if someone's moods change then yeah. your moods change exactly and that's what i always tell you like stability is the yeah is key, yeah, is key. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. like you have to be for you to be stable you have to be independent mm. because mm. then you account for your own emotions and for your own misgivings in a relationship whether yeah. it's a friendship or yeah or any yeah. other thing otherwise when conflict arises in a friendship and mm. you're codependent then mm. you won't be able to both reach you mm. know yeah a good yeah. outcome yeah. for the yeah. both of you i'm curious what's been um have you had any like fallouts with yeah. friendships and how have you Pe- like yeah, yeah. and That's how what did you learn from these because i can think of a few i feel like not just in friendships relationships as well like you know now as you grow like if you come from a background that I've come from where mm. like my friends tend to stay yeah. imagine trying to build a relationship with someone who's mm. probably going to be there for one year to one year two years yeah. or a few months it's a very painful thing because you see when they leave mm. you don't have that information on to how to you know um you know pathways without burning bridges yeah yeah you know yeah, yeah, a- and yeah. that information yeah is what i feel like is very important for someone like me like mm. you know sometimes if in your life you've had a con- consistent sense of community mm. um and then when people leave um mm. you d- you have a you have issues handling that and resetting your boundaries exactly as yeah. to where they were before yeah, yeah it's yeah. probably because you've had friends in your life for the long term true and true, it affects true. you really adversely so yeah. like that's been my biggest challenge like when mm. i fall out with someone for me to say okay these are my boundaries i've redrawn yeah. them yeah so yeah. you're there now and yeah. i'm here now yeah yeah and like that that that's been my biggest challenge in fact mm. with friendships mm. or even relationships yeah just yeah. redrawing the boundaries yeah wow yeah because i think it's for me i always i'm always curious because i i hear people talking about they've fallen out with their friends but genuinely for me i was talking about the natural evolution all of the friendships that i don't have right now were just because of evolving yeah i've only fallen out with like one person and that that was a bizarre one i won't go into details but like we went into a business venture together and then uh like i was saying transactional effort levels didn't work out then there was a girl involved and then it just <laughs> and, and the thing is for me like i'm i'm quite savage when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to like um yeah. if you're if you're now like being a disability to me I, i can't i can't compromise my growth for you like if in this friendship i can see you're like bringing me down in some way like for me i have to look at myself i'm quite selfish like that like i have to i have a path i'm trying to be on so they always say that there's an anal- analogy somebody showed me once and it's of this guy um with a, i think it's a wheelbarrow and then he was like if you're going if you're going up a hill you need friends that aren't going to sit in the wheelbarrow you need friends that are going to like be behind you right so if i feel like you're in a wheelbarrow and we're going up a hill yeah yeah no no so that's yeah. what happened with me like i just found that this 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 structure we have right now is is a disability for me yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. for me i don't know for me hmm, i this is like i said one of the mm. disadvantages of if you're someone who's had a lot of long term relationships mm. in your life before i even realize that that's what you are mm. I'll probably have compromised a lot. So for me when I realize it, yeah. I'll know, yeah, this yeah. is fatal. Like uh, it's not it's not those things where it's ne- that's the kind of the safeguard I have for myself. It's like yeah. it's you're my homie. Mm. You mm. know, I I I would I'm right or die. Mm. So like if you'd go through something I'll be there for you. Mm. But for me to feel as if I'm being misused, mm. I know for a fact I am being misused because yeah. for it even to come up in my mind, yeah, yeah, you you've yeah. probably Intuition. done something Intuition. that's yeah. yeah you've yeah. probably done something that's like yeah. unforgivable. And for me it's not like I don't like terminate the relationship mm. completely. Mm. For me it's like I create I reset the boundaries. Yeah. So yeah. you'll realize yeah. that yeah. you've just you've been mm. moved around in yeah. my priority list. It's like yeah, these are my priorities now. Yeah. Like, you're you're there, but yeah. you know, there are other things and other people mm. in my life that I've prioritized over you because I realize that the path you're on is not necessarily mine. Exactly. Me. I think we do the same thing. I just think yeah, we do the same thing. Mine is just more like cut and dry. Yeah, like yours just, is more yeah. Just cut and dry. I think that's because of moving around realizing that in six years time and four years time 
Have you, you might not even in the same county yeah, as me. You, yeah. Yeah. You and My, <laughs> you're gonna really enjoy this next <laughs> this next topic I want to bring up. All right, tell Oscar, me. Oscar, I've always had this argument with people, and yeah. no one gets it. Yeah. You've seen my two best friends that are, that are girls, right? Yeah. They are the most outstanding models you've probably seen in your life. Which begs the question, can you... <laughs> it's unfair. photo here. It's unfair. No. <laughs> Some people have friends who are models. <laughs> so, yeah, me it, too, begs, no. it begs the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It begs the question. I'm a model. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it begs the question. Yeah. Um, can you have a completely platonic relationship with the opposite sex? How's your, that experience been for you? Completely, like Let me tell the thing you. is, when I like very completely platonic, like yeah. there's never been even a an eyebrow raise. It's always been at this level. Fam, for me, I've realized that it's a very powerful thing to have female friends in your corner. Yeah, like yeah. for me, I I have a technical team. Yeah. Oh, okay. A technical okay. team of <laughs> analysts yeah. who are pure women. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah. even when I sit down and like, I'm, I have to make a decision that's a bit, um, that needs some, poli that has some political nuance yeah, as yeah, to yeah. how do I, yeah. like, how do I go about this without offending people mm. or from like, let's say even man talk, like some yeah. of the topics we pick, there's a technical team yeah. that receives phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, ladies, you need to tell me what we need to do. Even on man talk, our man talk community consists mm. a lot of, very true, of a lot of active and like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. shout out to those. And chicks. we love you. We love we you love every you day. Dearly. Every day, yeah. every day. So yeah. like, that that core of um, women mm. who are in my life, yeah. and even with Mantok, who've helped us grow, mm. have just shown me the importance that there is like to having women who you're not creating expectations from, because yeah. women tend to naturally give. Yes, very true. Yeah, very there are those yes who do naturally take, mm. and you, they're identifiable. Mm. But mm. those mm. who naturally mm. give are the ones who keep around. So, so you're like, saying you, you you've had completely. But there's never been attraction, never been even... Any yeah, there are, there's a number of friends who are like that. For me, I feel like my attraction kind of template is... Mm. It's a strong one, attraction template. Anyway, yeah, my yeah, attraction yeah, template yeah. is... Yeah, that's nice. I, yeah. I'll, I'll say that more. Attraction tem template. That's T-E-M-P. Yeah. T-E-M-P. Yeah. 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 My attraction yeah. template tends to work immediately. Like, I, mm. I'll see and I'll know. Yeah. Like, I'll see and I'll know. And when we sit down and have that conversation, then I'll really know. Yeah. 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 So there's yeah. usually like a window. You have mm. like 10 minutes. Mm. Mm. Then then I'll be like, mm. eh, talk, 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 talk. And I'm yeah. like, okay, you, yeah, this is where you go. Yeah, you, yeah. this is where you go. Got so, it, got so, it. Yeah, and like when once that boundary is drawn, I rarely ever cross it. So mm. for me, it's been easy. Plus, I also have sisters. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I like I like what you said about having like friends that are women. So key because I feel like they tell you things about yourself and Technical they see things team. about exactly, and they see things that. Your boys are never going to see. Yeah. And the information they give you is going to inform your next relationships because you've had yeah. that dynamic. Let, let me tell you, in fact, now at this stage yeah. where you're a man you're in your mid to late 20s. Late, late. late. It's AIU, your late, late 20s game. Late yeah, I mean, my mid to late yeah. 20s. So, like, yeah. for me, it's been the thing that's really been important for me is just the maturity. Dude, you, they are three or four they years are like ahead. ten. Ten. You, you <laughs> feel like they're ten years ahead. Because yeah. this girl will come and tell me, um, Oscar, you know that when you do this, it just mm. you are acting your age, and that's yeah. not a nice thing. So like it's like, <laughs> ooh. So you see, like yeah, when she says something like that, it's like, yeah, yeah let's dial it back. Let's. Yeah. And like, but this is only for the friends who are very intimate with me. I don't mm. like mm. advice from people who don't have that authority. Don't yeah. talk to me like that, and I don't know you that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But yeah. chicks tend to know. Mm. Mm. Um, who to tell that to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. So yeah, my thing is uh, I don't have that uh, attraction template that's very immediate because mm. um, I'm the dangerous one. You know the one I become your friend, <laughs> and I break your heart. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's <laughs> no, I'm, joking. I'm joking. But no, sometimes I'm like, because my thing is I like to start with friendship yeah. and then see what happens. So sometimes it's been like we started a friendship. And I'm like, okay, we go to the left, friends. Yeah. Okay, we go to the right. So a lot of mine has been there's always been something that happened before. I can't say I've had a. A friend that's a woman that there wasn't even a. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every it's really weird. All of them. Every single one. Uh, yeah, but you, your friends are models. It's allowed. No. You're only human. You're <laughs> no, only human. there's other ones as well. But yeah, there's always been that weird thing. So that's something I actually. Yeah. I don't know if I need to work on. Yeah, I don't maybe know. you do. Maybe I need to work on. Do. Have like, that. Have that yeah. template. Like, like for me, it's like like let's say there's this thing where when chicks have a boyfriend, mm. like guys, we have this thing where we just shut off. Yeah. You know, yeah. we don't even care what you have to offer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you have a boyfriend, get mm. busy. Mm. You know, mm. like. Yeah. But yeah. like for me, I've also seen value in like chicks who are in relationships because yeah. they'll tell me yeah, kind of if I have like if I'm seeing there's a relationship coming, mm. like she'll tell me, okay, so this is what you do. One, two, three. I have the leakage to the exam. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, even yeah, when yeah. I'm sitting for the paper, I'm like, <clears throat> technical team. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, yeah. yeah, where do we, like for me, it's that that's kind of been my growth. And you know, maybe as I mature more, I might not need that level of advice. Yeah. But like for me, it's always been a fantastic buffer. Mm, yeah, mm, even mm. in the office, like when you know, like things can get political in the office. Like, mm. and you as a as a guy. 
guy who's quite young, yeah. <coughs> you might not really see the bigger picture. Exactly. But like having older women or women who are your age who are mm. like who always have your best interests at heart, yeah. they can guide you, right? Very key, very key. I think, yeah, I think even going to the next phase of my life, because I'm in a different place, when I do get new core friendships that are women, I feel like there's going to be that clean cut and dry thing. Because yeah. I know I'm, I, I think my template's coming. I think my template is coming, yeah. So I think I'd say to guys in terms of t- uh, friendships, big, what I've learned, my lesson was that a large group of friends is not necessarily a good group of friends because a large group of friends goes and had a good, have, has a good time, but a small group of friends cares when like you're down. Yeah, you have so to I'd, have think, I'd think have a core. It's core. good to have loads of friends, whatever, socializing, it's fun, have a good time. Go on holidays, group holidays, but have that core. And it should be mixed gender, I think. Mm. Mixed, yeah, mixed, mixed gender, gender, yeah. Mixed gender yeah, yeah. You, you can't win the race with half the football team out, eh? You yeah, can't yeah, win yeah. the match. Yeah, you have on. to have uh, Hazard in the wing. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you need to have a manager as well that's going to tell you your performance. Your performance. Your performance, I mean, yeah, how you, you're you need to know these things. So. 100%, 100%. Yeah. So, so good. guys, guys, I hope that's uh, you've taken something from that. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've listened to it on the podcast or watched it on YouTube, share it widely and share this with your friend. Share this with share your friend. Let them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And subscribe. Down there, yeah? down there, down, down there. there. Yeah. yeah, for the podcast people, subscribe as well. If you can hear me on this mic, guys. <laughs> <laughs> see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.